Hello, amazing parents. Hey, it's Jen. I am talking all about diaper changes this week. My daughter actually back arched uh, for, for the majority of the first year of her life. Um, and diaper changes were really challenging. It was super frustrating. And another super frustrating common thing is to have spasticity in the legs. So when, if your child has spasticity in the legs, I'm going to show you what happens and it, it's, it can be really challenging for diaper changes as well. So when your child has passive steam the legs, um, often you won't be able to bring the knees up to, to roll the pelvis uh, um, off the floor and, and change the diaper kind of thing, right? So, uh, if their legs have spasticity, often what happens when you raise up, their whole body uh, raises off the floor. So um, that actually looks exactly like what, what ha would happen with my daughter. So I would try and change her diaper and her whole body would um, lift off the floor like that. So what is going on? I'm going to just show you kind of structurally with the skeleton what's happening. Um, and then we'll go over a few things that you can try to get uh, that those pelvises moving. So I'm gonna get Sven out here. Sven's my little skeleton guy. And I like to think of the pelvis as a round ball. So the pelvis has all these beautiful curved arches on it. There's no, um, it's not like a square, it's not flat. It's got these beautiful, curved arches on it. So even the sit bones are curved. Um, so when, when I'm sitting, I can actually feel my sit bones rolling on the, on the ground like a ball. And when I'm lying down, there's even a curve to the pelvis like this. It's like a, a, a bowl or a ball that can roll around in all sorts of different directions. Um, unless there's chronic contractions or spasticity, uh, which kind of locks the pelvis in place. Uh, so chronic contractions, chronic muscular contractions can lock that pelvis in place. And then what happens is when you raise up the knees, um, <laughs> the pelvis just kind of comes along instead of being able to roll like a ball. So I will actually show you here on myself maybe, and you can feel it to yourself. I always encourage parents to, to get down on the floor and roll around too, because you will feel it um, just so much better and you'll be able to transfer it to your kids. So if I had spasticity in my legs and I'm trying to lift my legs up uh, <laughs> off the floor, I can only get so far um, if my legs are kind of locked straight. Um, now I'm gonna put my hands on my on my pelvis and kind of feel and, and not move my pelvis at all. So if I had spasticity or if I was a back archer like this, oh, I can, I can barely <laughs> lift up my leg and my leg is really heavy. So if there's spasticity in the leg, um, it, it weighs down the pelvis and it actually pulls the pelvis uh, even down more. So that ball of the pelvis is even like pulled more and that makes it even harder to lift the legs up. Now, if I have freedom in my pelvis to roll on the floor like a, like a big giant ball, to lift my leg up now, I can actually go quite high, quite a bit higher. So this is my pelvis like stuck. <laughs> I can barely lift up my lift up my leg. But if my pelvis has freedom of movement and can actually roll, like look how much easier it is. It be, um, the movement becomes um, a little less effort, uh, more coordinated, and I can go further. I can have more function. Basically, I can have more options. So that's what we want to create with our kids more movement in the pelvis uh, so you can do something simple like a diaper change and not get quite so frustrated right so that's what's going on if your child has ooh, oh he's hooked if your child has uh, spasticity in the legs it's their legs are 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 kind of locked in a position and it pulls the pelvis down and locks the pelvis in, in this kind of locked down position like this. And then it makes it really, really, really hard to lift the legs up um, because the pelvis is stuck in that position. Okay, so I hope that makes sense of what might be going on um, if you're struggling with diaper changes and your child has um, either back arches or has spasticity in the legs. So there are um, lots of slow, gentle movements that you can do to explore the movement of the pelvis to get that pelvis 
moving, a little bit more freedom in the pelvis. And you can find out, you know, there's so much more that, you know, I can't just show you on a Facebook live like this. So that's why um, I've put all those videos inside the movement class membership. So you can check that out there. I'll put the link somewhere um, and stay tuned because I'll be doing a lot more of these kind of lives to talk about uh, more diaper changes. And I think in the new year, we will be talking about spasticity in the arm and the hand. So stay tuned. If you have questions about this specifically, um, or any other questions, just drop them down in the comments below and I'll circle back around to get you, get to you. Okay. So have a good day and we'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye.